In this video, I am explaining how to convert from NFA to DFA. So, what are the steps involved in converting NFA to DFA? Here, I will tell you the official steps of designing or converting DFA from the given NFA. But when I am explaining the examples, I will give the simple way of converting NFA to DFA. So, first of all, we will see the procedure of converting NFA to DFA. So, first of all, whatever the NFA is given, from that NFA, we have to draw the equivalent transition table of the NFA. That means, the step 1 is, first of all, we have to convert the given NFA to its equivalent transition table. First of all, we have to write the NFA transition table. NFA transition table. So, whatever is the initial state in the NFA transition table, the same initial state will be applicable to equivalent DFA also. That means, whatever may be the initial state in NFA, the same initial state will be applicable to DFA also. That is step 1. Here in step 2, create the DFA start state. So, whatever may be the initial state of the NFA, the same state will be the DFA start state or you can call it as an initial, initial state. The NFA's initial state is same as DFA's initial state. Now, after identifying the initial state of the DFA, now we will start constructing the DFA transition table, the DFA's transition table from the given NFA's transition table. With the help of NFA transition table, we are constructing the DFA transition table. That means uh, the equivalent uh, transition table for the NFA we are drawing. That means, first of all, we will take uh, the initial state with the help of the initial state and we will apply each and every input symbol on the initial state. Then we are creating the new states and we are observing the states. If any new state comes, again we will apply the same procedure on the new state. So here the step 3 is, step 4 is create the DFA's final state. What is, that, what is the final state here in DFA? In, in DFA, the initial state will be whatever may be the initial state in NFA, the same initial state will be applicable to DFA. But what will be the final state of DFA? So, after creating the DFA table, whatever the states which are linked with final state of NFA, those all states will be treated as final states in the DFA. That means, if let us suppose, if Q5 is a final state in NFA, in NFA. Now, while converting to DFA, DFA, the states which are linked with, which are having this Q5 as a combined state, all those states will be treated as a final states. So, here you can see, DFA's final states are the sets of states that contain at least one final state from the NFA. So, whatever the final state in NFA, that states will act as a final state in DFA. The, those combined states will act as a final state in DFA. So, this procedure you will understand simply while we are doing the problem and and you repeat the step 2 and step 3 and finally you will get the, the simplified DFA. So you repeat the steps 3 and 4 until there are no new states are generated and finally you stop creating the transition table of DFA and uh, you draw the diagram from the transition table. So that will be the minimized DFA 
for the equivalent NFA. So we have to repeat all the states. Here we have to repeat the process and remove if there is any unreachable states, remove if there is any dead states and match the equivalent states. And finally you will get a minimized DFA for the given equivalent NFA. So here by, by watching this video you can write the notes also for conversion steps of NFA to DFA. Here steps wise you may feel that it will be difficult but when you are doing the problem it is very easy to convert an NFA to DFA. Only the possible steps are only the required steps are first of all we have to convert the given NFA into its equivalent to transition table and identify the start state of the DFA from the NFA's start state and start creating the and DFA's transition table and identify the final states in the DFA and remove all the unreachable states and remove the dead states and merge equivalent states and finally you do the same process until you get a minimized DFA which is equivalent to the given NFA. So this is only the theoretical procedure of converting an NFA to DFA. So in the next video, I will explain clearly how to convert a given NFA into its equivalent DFA with more examples.